Hey guys, what you're about to watch is currently available in a new full episode of Noir. Be sure to check it out on NRATV.com. Back in 2011, I bought a used Glock 27 from a local gun store. Unknown to me at the time, the previous owner of the gun outfitted the G27 with a LaserMax guide rod laser. I was still pretty new to guns, so this was a huge deal for me. Over time, as I learned more and dove deeper and deeper into the tactical abyss that is the online gun community, I drifted away from lasers because all the cool kids in forums, articles, and videos were undermining the utility of a laser on your gun as if only noobs wanted lasers on their guns because of what they saw in movies. Admittedly, it's pretty much true. A lot of people get their ideas and beliefs about guns from what they see in movies and what they hear in music. If I were writing a text message, that last line would have been followed by that one emoji with his hands in the air and the darkest complexion I could find. It's now 2017, and I'm a lot wiser, developed my own informed opinions on many things, and today I want to make the case for lasers. Well, laser guide rod lasers to be exact. A laser doesn't make you a better shooter any more than cruise control makes you a better driver. Well, except for adaptive cruise control. Now that's the shit. Hell, in the age of pervasive texting and driving, it actually might make you a better driver. In the case of the laser, as a good friend of mine put it, a laser gives you the finer ability to take an accurate shot. Long story short, if all your other mechanics are trash, your shot will be too. That being said, if I had to take a well-placed shot from 20 to 25 yards and I had to choose between my iron sights or my guide rod laser, which was sighted in at 20 to 25 yards, please believe I'm gonna go with the laser. Back when I used to play basketball a lot, there was always that one guy on the court who would overplay your strong hand, exposing any weaknesses you had going to your weak hand. The good players always learned from that and took steps to make their weak hand stronger. In more ways than not, the laser does the same thing for not so optimal trigger press and control. Using a laser during dry fire practice will immediately expose any weaknesses in your trigger control and ability to hold your sight on target in ways that your stock sights can't. For someone who struggles with trigger control, this is invaluable to me because I can't cheat my way through a dry fire practice if I'm using a laser because it will expose me immediately. Look, on the surface, and I know this may sound cocky, but hear me out. The vast majority of people learn about guns from the media. In most movies, they treat guns with lasers like death rays. I've literally heard conversations between people talking about how they can't miss shooting with a laser. Thus, I think there's something to be said about the idea there may be some psychological effect on a criminal who largely gets his information on guns from movies when they're confronted with a citizen with a gun fitted with a laser. Visually, that's gotta be a little intimidating. I remember watching in India as Angelina Jolie curve bullets around people, cars, and corners, and almost making it look possible in real life. However, reality dictates that to shoot around corners accurately, you have to be behind the gun to see your sights. Well, the laser in some ways mitigates that necessity. Now, I'm not suggesting that a laser allows you to curve bullets, but it does give you the ability to expose as little of yourself as possible if you have to take a shot from around the corner or make it easy to take an accurate shot while you're in a less than ideal position physically. Here's the thing, with a guide rod laser, you don't have anything to lose. That is, if you have the money to buy one and you don't have any issues changing out your guide rod, the LaserMax guide rod laser is completely unintrusive to the gun. Hell, when I bought a G27, I didn't even know it had a laser guide rod until I pushed the takedown button. You don't have to change anything. You can use all the same accessories, all the same holsters. If you want to run night sights, you still can. You want to run an RMR? You still can. You want to put lights on your gun? You still can. And if time comes and you don't want to use a laser, just turn it off and use the gun as normal. I'm not saying the laser is better than this or that. I'm just saying it gives you options without any sacrifices. And in a world where two is one and one is none, and being prepared and having options is critical, to me, the Laser Max Guide Rod is a no-brainer if price and changing out the guide rod isn't an issue for you. Before you go, I want to tell you about the new drinkware that's available now at shop.mrcolionnoir.com. Besides keeping your drinks cold for 24 hours and hot for 12 hours, 
They also make for a great conversation starter, are incredibly durable, and just look damn good. So click the image in the top left corner of this video or the link in the description section to order your drinkware today. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the image on the bottom left portion of this video. Oh, and almost forgot. Go ahead and hit that bell symbol on the top right portion as well of this video and get notified when I release new videos. Noir out.